Simple reason, Nigerians and the Nigerian Christians are very backward in life is because their brain is being filled up with the ancient history. Everybody you found in Nigeria can tell you the ancient history that happened in the Bible. The history of Abraham, the history of Melchizedek, the history of David, the history of Goliath, the history of, of uh, Solomon, the history of um, Meshach, Shadrach, the history that happened in the Bible, ancient history, is what they used to occupy the brain of Nigerian Christian. Just imagine, after this exposement of fraudulent election in Nigeria, religious leaders in Nigeria begin to speak. Now it has come to their knowledge to understand that Usman Donfodio entered Nigeria with the Islamization agenda. Could you imagine if those recruited religious leaders has been forwarding the history of human being and the mankind down to the agenda of Usman Donfodio? I think that Nigerian people, Nigerian Christians in Nigeria would have know what to do. Now, Nigeria has been Islamized. Muslim, Muslim ticket. Shetima and the Tinibu, automatic Islamization has happened in Nigeria in front of those people that carried Christianity on their head. In front of those people that has that eat dinner. They have their lunch with Jesus Christ every morning. In front of them, Nigeria has been Islamized. Do you know the reason? It was because they focus on teaching their followers ancient history. How David did his own. How Elijah did his own. How Jeremiah did his own. How all those people in the Bible did their own. And they regard them as ancestors. But they accepted with the British idea that their own personal ancestors is evil. That's why you don't see Nigerians going back, tracing back their history, trying to know the meaning of their villages, trying to find out the reason where there is some places called Omoanyam in Igbo land, trying to find out the reasons why there is a place called Omoajala. Na, na Alibo. Why there is a place called Omochuku in Alibo? Why there are places named by God, named by Son, named by things you can see? But intelligences that colonize you in Nigeria, they say, as they entered the continent of Africa, they found warriors full of intelligence and integrity. It was very difficult for them to colonize them. But what did they do? They begin to tell them that everything that is foreign is better than that of local. And that is how they bring you foreign God and they occupy your brain with the ancient history. Now, Amadou Bello says, they can never allow Igbos to rule Nigeria. And they will take the south as conquered territory. And they will never allow them to have future over their life. To have control over their lives. That's why Peter Obi won the election. And it was rigged right in front of Chris Ayekinome. Right in front of Adeboye. Right in front of Oyedepo. Right in front of Suleiman right in front of Ananche, right in front of Jeremiah. And they told them you can go to court and make noise. Why? Because you people has been recycling the brains of your followers. And you told them, look up. Your Savior will appear from the sky. Why Fulanese took AK-47, Machet, and every kind of ammunition occupied the land. 
when all of you, the pastors, pray to your members to, uh, to acquire visa, you will celebrate someone who is running away out of his father's land. That is the worst impunity, the worst crime religious leaders ever committed. Recycling the memory of their followers with the ancient history. They don't go forward. They don't go forward. They have the brain of their followers remain blocked. They took electricity for you not to know what is happening in the world. The development and the, the evolution going on in this world. And how, how this world has been developing. But you are following your pastor who always concentrate on how to grow his followers in his own church. But you are there dying. Today, Hope Ozodema is throwing bomb in Imo State. No pastor is carrying the news in his own church until all of them is eliminated. And when we begin to preach the gospel of Biafra and the gospel of Nam de Kano, we told the pastors face to face, I was face to face and in the internet, that the Turkey was once a Christian country. Today it has been Islamized. Pastors, Ayekinome them, and the Ayekinome like Oyedebo, and all the rest of all these Olympic pastors, they say it will be impossible. Simon Eba is passing vote. Are you ready to be Islamized? Or are you ready to take your freedom by all costs? That is a question left for Christians, those people who is believing for someone to come from the sky. Nam de Kano is in DSA dungeon. Why Simon Eba is carrying up the agenda of your total liberation? If not, no pastor can stand to help you or you will become Islamized. Not only become Islamized, you will become a slave. And after serving as a slave, they will kill you.